What up? And welcome to another episode of From the Script to the Screen, My Hero Academia Edition. Episode 18 of Season 7 is out now. So as always, you guys already know, gotta shout out the creator, Kohei Horikoshi. Want to give a shout out to the studio, Bones. Appreciate all parties involved. They covered chapters 382 to right about the end of 385. Almost finishing off volume 38. And another great episode. A lot of things happen. Shifting scenes. But going off of last week, you guys already know that Dark Shadow, one of the students has stepped up. And the fact that his quirk has the ability to manifest itself and grow stronger in darkness he's able to give all for one the most pushback at the time and talking about all for one now that it's been properly explained you got to remember that he's going off of Eerie's quirk so Eerie's quirk rewind is basically rewinding his time also healing him but we know that this quirk doesn't have a stopping point and so that's why we see him revert and get younger and younger which is why that instance with Deku and Overhaul is so special the fact that he was walking around with Eerie we know that one for all in particular was causing a lot of backlash to Deku's body so the fact that Eerie was making him rewind is why he was able to cause so much damage to overhaul in that instance and so we're seeing it now with all for one his quirks are getting stronger and he himself is just able to do more with his quirks now it's like being in the younger body of yourself when you were more capable physically but having the knowledge of your older self you know the possibilities are endless and so we're seeing that's going on with all for one when makia arrives on the battlefield we see a shift scenes to where he was being captured because that's where Mina, Red Riot, and some of the other students were, including Mount Lady. They were trying to make sure that Makia didn't break out because we know that he's able to change the circumstances of the battle quickly. And so shout out to Mina because in this instance, we see her explain how she was training, learning from Todoroki and Bakugo because we know that they're able to manifest flame and ice and actually shoot it out and increases density so she's able to increase the density of her acid just like Mount Lady said enough to damage Makia and we know that that's a hard thing to do because his exterior is actually reinforced so it's hard to even break through his skin so shout out to Mina and we see that the students end up using Makia to their advantage and take them to the battlefield to push back all for one so it takes us back to the present time because we see that Makia, even though he was brainwashed for a time, he still has a grudge with All For One because he didn't necessarily want to work with other people, at least it appears. Even though he had a little bit of love for Shigaraki, he knew that there was some sort of DNA still left over from All For One. And we see that it appears to be no longer and so he feels a type of way about that and attacks All For One himself. And so after all this is where we see all for one rewind again he's taking a lot of damage and so it appears that he gets even younger and at this point already in his prime like i said with the knowledge of a veteran he's able to basically wipe out everybody and take out the whole battlefield and you want to talk about bad timing because just in the previous episode we see how everybody's been trying to document this and they're trying to show the scenes of the battlefield so that people would be given a chance of hope and would actually be able to see that the heroes are putting a lot on the line and are facing a lot to try to protect the citizens. The whole world is watching because we know that they assume with there being no presence of All Might that All For One could possibly be victorious and that Japan would be finished. So we'll have to see what happens next week. They leave us off with Hawk saying that there's still hope. And so I gotta say it's still my villain academia definitely my favorite panel of the week you gotta respect it you guys know i'm all about the heroes the kids are my favorite but we gotta give it to all for one he is a menace <laughs> the demon lord for real but if you've seen the previews i cannot wait for next week 
looking forward to the next episode but as always let me know what you guys thought about it and to the manga readers let me know what you guys thought about the adaptation till next time peace